Hey there YouTube, my name is Becky, this is Bria Makes Art, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing video with you today. I got this box from Muse Kits and I wanted to share it with you. First disclaimer, uh, I did purchase this with my own money, sort of. I have purchased a number of things from Smart Art in the past and I had a bunch of rewards points that I redeemed for this, so this is not sponsored at all. But it came in a nice plastic bag that was around this to prevent it from getting damaged from any rain and it was raining the day that I got it so uh, the box is good there's no damage so I was happy about that um, it's a very nice sticker pretty sticker and on the inside it is packed oops, sorry sorry there plant it is packed very nicely really pretty paper and it comes with this little card and this nice smart art sticker uh, it is no longer smart art uh, it is now muse kits see I got the scratch board kit it comes with this thing that talks about the scratch board art and talks about how to use the materials and what materials you get and it came with oops, a whole bunch of pens I guess you would call them the scratching tools to scratch off the different uh, different size and shapes so we start off with this one see it's kind of a, a shovel shape I guess and then we have this one that is much pointier and this one looks like something you would use for lino cutting block printing it's got a curve to it and then a much smaller point on this one it also come with a brush set and a little brush here. I'm guessing this is to wipe off all of the little bits that you scratched off. Oh, this is nice. This is a little pen that's just got a point on it that would make it nice for doing line work. And it actually has a what appears to be a cap. Oh, it does have a cap and a very, very fine point on this end. I don't know if you can see that. And then it came with a set of inks. This one is Carmine Red. This one is Ultramarine Blue and Yellow. It looks like it came with a couple, well, at least one wooden scratcher. And two or three. Uh, six by six scratch board panels. That'll be fun. A candy, a mini burger. This, I am not sure what this is. I'll have to look at the catalog to see what this is because I don't see scratch board paper in there. It's all white. Maybe, oh, maybe it's folded inside. Ooh, it doesn't want to come up. There we are. This is scratch cards, magical animals, reverse glamour from black. Okay. I think this is the one that already has the designs on there and you kind of just scratch off where the design is already put on there. So that'll be fun. Um, looks like that is all that's in the box. So you can see it's quite a haul. I'm gonna pause this for a second. I was looking at the catalog to see what the different things are that we got in here. And it looks like this pad of paper that looked like it was just white is a scratch board. And my guess is that this is the rainbow scratch cards. There's a 12 pack of those. Uh, so when you scratch off, you'll get a rainbow color underneath. And the, the brushes that it came with here are so that, af so that way after you scratched things off, you can actually paint back in with colors with these inks. Uh, and make some really cool stuff. Uh, the, the catalog here is a really nice catalog and it has a nice kind of quick start on how to do some stuff. Um, it looks like they're making a cool wolf and they're using some of those inks to color in. And then you get some art prompts, um, some pointers. There's a skills challenge in here. The thing that I was most excited about with this package is these, uh, these pre-printed scratch boards. So you can see they've got the places that you're supposed to scratch off already on there. So the design is already there. You've got this tiger, um, 
a leopard, a lion, and a wolf. I think that I will go ahead and start scratching one of these off and show you a montage, I guess, of, of me doing this so you can kind of see how it looks when it's done. I just wanted to try out uh, some of the different tools that came with this kit. So this one has a plastic tip. And you can see it's kind of a fairly small point. And then on the other end, we've got this pretty fine um, point that's metal and I just wanted to play with it on some uh, cheap paper, cheap scratch paper that I got from the dollar store. Um, so just to see what I can do. So this fine tip, I've already played with it a little bit, but it can do some very, very fine lines. If you turn it to the side, you can get slightly thicker lines. So it's really nice for hair texture, things like that, lots of control. The other end here, this plastic nib, it's got a, uh, a slightly larger tip, so you can see you get much larger lines, but again, it's still pretty good for lines. You can use it pretty well to scrape away large sections. Let me get the lid back on there so I don't poke myself. The next one is this blue one that's got a fairly uh, small tip and it's got these straighter edges here. This one we can do again we can kind of use the side a little bit to scrape off larger sections. Uh, you can go kind of straight up and down and get really fine point. If you go to the side a little bit, slightly bigger lines, and you can kind of adjust the, the size of those lines quite a bit and try from different angles. So that one's pretty nice. Sorry, my husband's using uh, the Alexa out there. This one, um, this is the one that's a little bit messed up. I got two blades in it somehow, but it does still seem to work pretty well. This one seems to work really great for scraping large sections away. Uh, you can still get nice fine point here. Got this nice little brush to wipe away the crummies. Um, and you can kind of get slightly different size points depending on how you angle it. So just play with your tools and see what they can do. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the blue one. You can see the blue one has straighter sides than this one. This is more roundy. Uh, you can also, with the red one, you can also scrape away. Uh, but I don't think it works quite as well for scraping away as the blue one. Again, you can get nice fine lines slightly different size lines depending on how you turn your blade. Go straight up and down, really, really fine. Uh, so the last one that I really struggled with uh, understanding how to use is this one. You can see that it's got kind of a, a curved tip. So it's pretty good for scraping sections away. Um, you can, can't really use it on the side so much because the handle gets in the way. You can strangely do this. Get some nice parallel lines. Um, it would work pretty well for scraping away large areas, but not as well as our orange guy here. Last one we've got is just a piece of wood that's sharpened at the end. Not super pokey, but these work again really well for nice lines, lots of control. I can write fairly uh, naturally with it, that sort of thing. So yeah, just play with your tools, see what they do, and that'll help you when you're actually working on the real thing, like this guy. Okay, so I didn't record any of this, but I did a few test scratches just to see how this would look and how it would feel. And you can see that there are different colors underneath different parts of the, the image. I used this guy to scratch things off this end. It does uh, scratch off a little hard. You have to push a little harder than you expect, but it's going to be pretty easy. I'll probably record parts of this um, and then show you the finished result.
Hey there, I thought you might enjoy watching some disembodied hand time working on the wolf here. I used a number of tools to scratch off different parts of the wolf. I used this black one with the fine tip for some of the really fine lines. I also use it a lot uh, to get a really nice fur texture because it gives you really fine lines and you get really good control. And it looked really nice. It looked like individual pieces of hair. And so I really like that. The thing I didn't like about it was it took a long time to scratch off larger areas so I do switch out and use the blue one quite a bit because I did like that one because you can get really nice fine lines with that one as well and it tended to scratch off the black a little bit easier than the than the black one I don't know why but it did and I could use it to get larger areas as well you'll see me grabbing the brush and brushing off bits that the little crumbs that come off when you're scratching it off you have to do that really uh, regularly because otherwise you can't really see what little bits are left when you're scratching a large area you end up getting tiny little speckles that you didn't really get when you're scratching it off but uh, the brush is really nice it worked nicely it didn't scratch the piece so that was really good I'm glad that that was provided you're only gonna see me working on the face here I spent the rest of the time working on this in front of the TV and didn't record it because I just wanted to sit and relax and do this. This is really relaxing and I would highly recommend getting some of these and doing them. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot more to say so I'm going to let you watch this for the next couple of seconds and then I'm going to come back and talk to you face to face. As I was putting everything away, I turned over the package that had the scraping tools and found the information on how to use each tool and what they're designed for. So I'm just going to go ahead and share that with you real quick here. So this is on the back of the packaging. The number one is the one that had the straighter edges, and it says that one is used to make thin and detailed strokes. The number two is used to make medium to broad strokes, which we kind of saw when we were testing it out. Number three, the one that I wasn't really sure how to use, says that it's used to make broad to wide strokes. And it also looks like it's really nice for making kind of dots. And then the number four is used to make wide feather-like strokes. And you can kind of see, you can see here that it does this feathery end to the stroke. And we saw that when we were testing it out. Before I let you go, I thought I would take a few moments to just kind of go over my feelings on this kit, whether it was worth the money, whether it was enjoyable, worth the time, etc. Uh, first of all, I want to repeat that I used my own money to purchase this. Uh, I used some rewards actually that I had from Smart Art that moved over to the Muse kits. That was $50 for the kit. Uh, I think there was a good amount of value in there. Would I have paid $50? If I had seen this kit on the shelf, maybe not, but I wanted to use those points before I forgot about them and they just went to waste. And I picked this one because it was materials that I don't have. And I thought it would be fun to just try this out. I think I've tried it in high school, uh, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> so I thought this would be a lot of fun. I tried out one of the uh, pre-done, uh, pre-drawn items in this pack. I did the wolf here. It was a lot of fun. It was really zen. It was it was really zen to kind of just lose myself in doing it. It was very relaxing. Uh, all of the lines were already planned. The one thing that I I did do is I when I was doing it, I followed most of the planned lines, but I did add some additional lines in there. Like down here, I added some additional lines that I just thought it needed. I um, if you looked really close at this, you would probably be able to see some spots where I didn't quite follow their pre-planned lines because it was kind of hard to see, uh, m mainly because I'm getting old. <laughs> if you had a nice bright light, they were easy to see. Uh, if I had my reading glasses on, it was easy to see, but the, the dark gray on the black made it a little bit harder to see. But overall, it was really easy to do and very relaxing to just go through and scratch it off. Uh, Muse kits themselves has been fantastic. I had some issues with redeeming my coupon uh, or redeeming my rewards 
and I contacted them and they were very responsive and helped me through that without any issues. So I would give a big thumbs up to Muse Kits. They did a fantastic job of kind of making my experience really good. Overall, you know, I would probably go back and, and look at Muse Kits again and purchase some other things. Uh, and overall, the scratch, uh, scratch board stuff, the scratch kit, was a lot of fun. I will probably pull some of this out again later and use it in maybe a later video or just on my own. I still got some small, three of those small scratch boards. Uh, I've got a few more of these that were already pre-planned and then some blank pages to do other work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Thanks. Bye.